serial number or we call it receipt number in AppSheet. So basically, when you enter an amount, I mean a data, and as you can see, the receipt number is number three, one zero zero three. Once we create a new one, it will uh, uh, automatically goes to one hundred one zero zero four. So in this video, we'll show you, and let's go to the tutorial. This database I already created using the Google Sheet. So let's open it. In my database, I have just two table. So I have the payments table and then the receipt number, which, which is only has one column. So in payments, I have a receipt number column the date, the amount, the payment method, and then the description. Basically, when someone's pay, you need to, our system will automatically generate a receipt number, serialized receipt number. Okay. Then we have the date here, amount, payment method, and description. In my second table, I have just one column, and it's a receipt number column. So I wanted to to have my receipt number starts with 1001. So what I did, I already placed a initial value here, which is 1000. Okay. Then below this 1000, you have to put a formula. So by using a simple query function, you can achieve this one. What's a query? This table and a two to a so it's like infinite okay. what will happen guys is when there's a data here let's say one zero zero one one zero zero two it goes here okay so that's the purpose of the second table since we done for our database let's go to our app sheet let's create an app I'll just name this as C app. Okay. So this is let's say relation. Let's add the table. Okay, so the first table that was added was payment, I mean it's payment, okay, so let's review the columns, okay, so receipt number, I want the receipt number as the key column, so this receipt number, I want it to change it into number, don't forget. And also remove the thousand separator here. Okay. And date. I always wanted one to use the long date. Make it easy to read. Then amount. I wanted to change the price. And let's change the currency as well. To. So I have the three digits here. And currency, I will use US dollar, and that's all. Then let's review our UX view. So, so I wanted to use as a table view. Okay. And okay, all set. Then let's add the new table, which is the receipt number, which is this this table. So it's already here, just add. So then view columns. Okay, so receipt number should be removed the separator because we don't want our receipt that has a comma. Okay, then you go to UX. There's no need to, to create a view for this for the 
uh, the UX view. Okay. So let's open our app. Okay. Let's do some format. I know I want to. Yes. So what will happen, guys, if you add a payment? So I want the receipt number automatically input here. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's go back to our data. Uh, go to payments column. Uh, we have to apply a formula here in receipt number, which is um, you have to scroll down and go to auto compute go to initial value so this time we will use the formula uh, max okay so what is the table name that is receipt number uh, this is the table name guys receipt number the second table then what is the column name receipt number Close parenthesis plus one. Okay. So the formula is correct. Now let's save and let's add a new data. Okay. So let's add a payment. So see, it's coming already 1001. But uh, we don't want when we creating a receipt a serial number should be not editable so see you can edit so to avoid that you go back to the receipt number and just scroll down go to behavior update behavior check this one and put a formula so in this case this can be editable only if the row or the column is blank Okay, so you can use this formula. Um, it's okay. Okay. Now let's try if we can still edit this receipt number. Okay. Now let's try. See. So we forgot to remove the separator guys so it's not nice as you can see if you put a comma on your receipt number so remove this one and save again let's save okay now let's add okay so let's try to add some data so payment method i forgot to add uh, let's say I want this as in no. Okay. So let's add some values. Let's say cash, credit card, So receipt number automatically coming. So let's say ten dollars with my cash description is this. So it's one zero zero one. So let's try. Okay. So the next receipt should be one zero zero two. So you can see, guys, it's coming automatically. Uh, just take note that app sheet doesn't recommend uh, using a serial number because what ha what will happen is if uh, the same time two device creating a record 
then it may lead to data loss, you know, because imagine you are creating a receipt, then someone also creating a receipt, and then you have a, the same receipt number. So if you are using like a single device, this method you can use. Otherwise, we're not recommend to use the serial number if you are using it in multiple devices, let's say so many people using it. Okay, so let's try to do this. So this is how you're gonna create a serialized receipt number or serial number. Okay, so I hope you like this video and comment if you have any questions, subscribe as well to my YouTube channel if you like this video. And also, don't forget to leave a comment or if you have any question. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.